stupid junk mail. You may have already won. Yeah, win this. Here's good news for Homer Simsoy. <laughs> I'll see that he gets it. How dumb do they think I am? Huh? A check? <gasps> One million dollars. I'm rich! <laughs> Mr. Simpson, I can assure you, this check of yours is not negotiable. Oh, yeah? Well, what makes you so damn sure? You see where it says void, 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 and this is not a check? Cash value, one twentieth of a cent. Mr. Banker, do not honor... Shut up. I had a feeling it was too good to be true. Every time you get a million dollars, something queers the deal. I don't think real checks have exclamation points. Well, at least we got a free sample of Reading Digest. Marge, I never read a magazine in my life, and I'm not going to start now. Hey, a cartoon. Well, dear, you always wanted a compact. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? No, it's not the truth, Homer. It's well documented that women are safer drivers than men. Oh, Marge, cartoons don't have any deep meaning. They're just stupid drawings that give you a cheap laugh. <laughs> hey, Einstein, put down your reading. It's lunchtime. Yeah, uh, you go ahead. Hey, you don't want to eat. What'd you do, get one of them stomach staples? As Tolstoy said in Quotable Notables, give me learning, sir, and you may keep your black bread. Who is that bookworm, Smithers? Homer Simpson, sir. Simpson, eh? How very strange. His job description clearly specifies an illiterate. We now return to Troy McClure and Dolores Montenegro in Preacher with a Shovel. But irrigation can save your people, Chief Smiling Bear. Marge, look at them staring at that idiot box. God forbid they would ever read something and improve their mind. You've certainly taken a shine to that magazine. It's not just one magazine, Marge. They take hundreds of magazines. Filter out the crap and leave you with something that fits right in your front pocket. Those kids don't know what they're missing. Dad! Hey, what gives, man? We're all gonna sit down as a family and listen to an inspiring story of wilderness survival. Then I heard the sound that all Arctic explorers dread. The pitiless bark of the sea lion. He'll be killed! Homer, he obviously got out alive if he wrote the article. Don't be so. Oh, you're right. Homie, put down your magazine for a minute. Huh? Mm, I thought you might want to snuggle. That reminds me. Seven ways to spice up your marriage. <clears throat> Marge, you have a nice body. And if you'd like to see me in a costume, you have only to ask. Thank you, homie. Wow, little meatloaf men. Where'd you get the idea for this, Mom? Where do you think? This baby never steers you wrong. And it was free. Free! It certainly has enriched our lives. Wow, win a trip to Washington, D.C. All expenses paid, VIP tour. Oh, it's for kids. Great, Dad. Hmm, an essay contest. Children under 12, 300 words, fiercely pro-American. Sounds interesting. Bart, maybe this is something you'd like to do, too. Mom, it's a nice thought, but we both know that this is the pony to bet on. <laughs>